Hi, hello. I'm very happy to be part of this uh, digital conference. My name is Andreas. I'm the director of Imaginary, an organization um, taking care of international communication of modern mathematics in an open source way. I'm going to talk about the International Day of Mathematics, uh, a project that started a couple of years ago and um, that was officially proclaimed by UNESCO last November 19, um, which means that March 14, every year, um, is going to be celebrated or was celebrated this year for the first time and is going to be celebrated every year as the International Day of Mathematics. I will very quickly introduce um, what we did and how COVID-19, the situation, affected the first IDM, International Day of Mathematics. So the idea of the IDM is that the whole world celebrates mathematics in many, many different forms and um, locally, locally organized uh, all over the world, doing festivals, doing talks, presentations, uh, all types of school activities. And we as Imaginary were entrusted by the IMU, the International Mathematical Union, uh, which is the driving force uh, behind that project, to um, prepare a website. So the website is uh, idm314.org. And the idea on that website is to um, collect whatever is happening worldwide and to offer uh, open source uh, resources, whatever, logos, posters, activities. And uh, every year um, a theme, a topic is chosen. The first topic is uh, mathematics is everywhere. So you can see everywhere means in geography, um, in, in plants, in nature, in computer games, um, also in viruses, in ep epidemiology, and uh, also to create a map where you can find all announced events worldwide. So here from New Zealand over Madagascar, um, um, back to Colombia, a lot of events were announced. And um, we had planned two very big launch events for the first IDM, um, one in Paris at the UNESCO headquarters and one in Nairobi, but due to the situation, both of them had to be cancelled. Um, one was postponed in Nairobi, one which was part of a big Next Einstein Forum conference. And um, we were not sure what's going to happen uh, Happen on March 14. There were 1,040-something events announced in 113 countries. And uh, of course, some countries already informed us that they're going to cancel it. They put it digital. Um, in Italy, a lot of, of course, or all events got cancelled. And we decided to do a, a, a live global launch event, which was a, a, a very, very good decision at the end. So we were uh, tracking for this um, 40, 48 plus hours, which is uh, uh, March 14, uh, starting in New Zealand to the uh, west coast of the US, uh, tracking all the different events that were happening. And it was so cool to see creativity um, happening in all the different places. So um, I don't know, people were recording a rap song that they booked online. One person in Italy made an, uh, a math and art exhibition at home that um, that was shared. There was like a very, very big experiment on this Buffon needle, how to calculate pi uh, in Taiwan and surrounding regions where many thousands of people joined. There was an online film screening in Uruguay, uh, recorded lectures, recorded events that were shared. And, uh, and with our uh, global launch, we just uh, kind of um, informed everybody about it. And we had um, more than 15,000 unique people on that, on that one uh, website uh, looking at the different events. So um, two or three lessons, lessons learned. Uh, it was really worth to do this global, global live launch, the digital one, and um, I'm sure that we're going to do another one, even if they are physical events. So that, that connected uh, everybody. Um, it was very good um, um, also, uh, how would I say, uh, part of the concept that it was all kind of local, local and grassroots, so um, creativity could spread because there was no guideline or directive, so everybody could, uh, did what they wanted to do and, and this helped a lot to create um, a movement feeling, a, a joint celebration feeling. Um, yeah, language was a big uh, issue too, so we prepared the material in many, many languages. The logo was translated into 27 languages, and uh, even if mathematics is one language, um, it's really worth um, talking your local local language. Yeah, I invite you to join the, the project. Um, go to idm314.org, and now there's a call out um, for the next theme, uh, 2021. So if you have a good idea, uh, join us, and I'm looking forward to your questions.